Hey, welcome back to blog.web6.org. In my previous video, I've already created a video about how you can create a 2012 chart theme in your WordPress blog. And into the video, I'm going to add a logo, which is a PNG file to my 2012 chart theme. So the very first step is, of course, you have to create 2012 chart theme. And if, if you haven't done so, you can uh, check out my other tutorial about creating 2012 chart theme. And the next step is you're going to prepare your image. I've already prepared mine and I'm currently saving it on my desktop at the moment. And to see how or what size this file has, I'm going to right click and get info or properties if you use Windows. And here I can see that the dimension is uh, 100 times 50 pixels. Okay, so now the next step is we're going to upload this image to our server. So you can use uh, your FTP client or like FileZilla or Coda or whatever. But uh, today I'm going to upload this image directly to my cPanel. So you're going to log into your cPanel and this is where my uh, WordPress themes are saved here. You see that uh, last time I've created 2012 chart theme inside this my 2012 chart theme folder. So I'm going to click this 2012 chart theme folder, which is called my 2012. Click that. And here I'm going to create a new folder. And I'm going to name it images. Create new folder. And then inside these images, you're going to upload your image. Upload it. And I save it on my desktop, it should be there. There it is. And I'm going to click open to upload it. And as usual, if it's uh, done by uploading the file, you should see that uh, it's completed, right? Okay, and then go back to uh, close this window and go back to my uh, WordPress directory or 2012 chart theme, which is in images folder. And here I hit reload to refresh this page. And yes, my logo is already uploaded over here. Okay. And then the next step is you go to uh, up one level. And again, up one level to see the parent theme of 2012 chart theme, which is stored in uh, 2012 folder. Going to click that. And we go back to our uh, demo blog. So here it is, our blog. As you can see now, this blog has no logo and we will add that logo.png file over here. So uh, here is the part of header and the navigation and the content page. So our logo will be added in lo uh, header part. So we go back to our cPanel and in this uh, parent theme folder, we're going to uh, look for header.php. If I see it, yeah, there it is. So now you see that you found header.php file and then you're going to select that file and say copy. Click on copy button and then we go to uh, delete this uh, parent theme folder and change it to our uh, 2012 child folder which is called 2012 um, my 2012 right and then copy file. Okay now to see if your header.php already copied in your uh, child theme folder, you're going to click up one level and then go inside this uh, child theme folder and look if your header.php is already there. And in my case, my header.php is already there. And then we're going to uh, select it to edit it and then go to code editor. So here it is my header.php of my 2012 chart theme and uh, if you check out my other tutorial or if you already know that I've already created a post about creating a logo in 2011 uh, chart theme which is the previous default theme of WordPress and here in my uh, post the steps is is really really exactly the same. You just need to modify the width and height because you upload a, a different image. So what I'm going to do is copy this code 
and you see that here right after rel home so go back to my code editor and it should be in line 35 you see here h1 class site title and rel home so after this you're going to add that code so i'm going to to click here and then simply paste that code and you see this code is actually the code that i've just added right so after the rel home and before the block info name php code so here we're going to um modify some stuff for example like when you stored your logo not inside images folder then you're going to change the folder to be your folder but if you remember i've already created a uh, images folder and i've stored this logo.png file inside this images folder and this line of code already okay and the width you remember i already take a look before the width was 100 pixel time 50 pixel 50 is the height and the width is 100 right and now we're going to save it and let's see what we are going to get so the file is already saved and now we go uh, back to our block and refresh our block and yes we should see our logo sitting there right and as you can see now we have this kind of link uh, and text that maybe you really don't really like the uh, appearance. So the next step is you're going to go back to your code editor and here we're going to delete this uh, PHP block info name which is uh, basically showing this code and delete it here and save changes again and refresh our block and the text is gone, right? And you can also delete this just another WordPress site here, but I don't really recommend it because uh, this this is actually the blog your blog description and it is in uh, H2 class, which is uh, very important for search engine optimizations. But if you if you um, really don't care about it, just delete it or uh, leave it like it is. I would suggest that uh, you just leave it like it is. So that's all guys for today and thank you for watching. Take care.